All right, welcome back to New Game Plus One again. Still haven't beaten it. I probably never will beat it at this rate. This is really hard. Maybe I need a healer, but by God, healers have been nerfed so much recently. Like, it seems like I've been taking a lot of runs lately that have just been full of glass cannons, stuff that dies instantly, but has a lot of damage. Like, maybe I need a healer so that sort of thing doesn't happen? Let's, let's try the cleric and... Oh, uh, maybe I can get something going with that. <gasps> like, I'm not even gonna collect the healing orb right now. Like, instead of healing a unit, clerics drop healing orbs? Which is better if you're at max HP, because you can just let those stack up and then heal all at once later. But it's worse if you have a hard time chasing down the orbs and are in need of those to heal. But I did warriors and cursors. I still want to find something that like isn't warriors or cursors. And also, I'm not too sure about the healing orbs, like how much they heal in general. Is it comparable to pre-nerf? I don't know. I probably don't need it though, because I'm just kind of crushing things at will. Yeah, it's not necessary. I could go for Vagrant Synergy. The Orbitism makes the orbs spin around any Psyker quicker, so it'll hit enemies more often and deal more damage. Let's try that. Let's see if I can get the, the Vagrant Synergy going, because it's it's a new thing. Oh, but I will grab an Engineer. Engineer drops Sentries, and Sentries sound like a lot of fun. I want to see how good the Sentries are. It's a Sentry. It shoots triple shots. It's okay, I guess. Uh, I just took it because it was there. And I can always sell it later, I suppose. Ooh, double sentries. Triple sentries. They stick around for a while, at least. So that's cool. Thanks for the helps. Ooh, okay. Flagellant. I've not done anything like this before. It deals 20 damage to self and grants plus 4% damage to all allies per cast. That's got to be good with the healer. So this will just deal damage to itself, and then things will be leveled up, and it's a Psyker, so any orbs get, or Psykers get orbs around them. This sounds amazing. How often does it hurt itself? So it already did. No, did it? I don't know if it did. No, it's slow. It hasn't yet. It just did now, so now I would like a healing orb. It didn't work. It didn't, it didn't work. The healing orbs healed the wrong thing. No, my thing's gonna die. It's gonna die. Must heal. It's the wrong thing again! Didn't Cleric used to prioritize, like, things that got low? At least, I mean, it doesn't matter, but... It should. I'll level this up. I could take a Miner. That way I get gold projectiles dropped. Yeah, I get four Merchants. And then... Greed like crazy. God, what a mess. I haven't even done anything to the Elite. Also, I have so much garbage to pick up now. <laughs> I got gold coins and healing orbs. What is this joke? I need a healing orb up here. Come on. I need it. Oh, double healing orb here? Don't mind if I do. I do admit, it is a little bit more fun with the healing orbs. That's the one thing I can say about it. Can I get this in time? Nope. Ooh, attack speed's decent. I wonder if there's another Psyker synergy, though. I don't want to reroll for it, though. I think I'll just take speed three. Ooh, Vagrant level up, Merchant level up. Very nice. Pyromancer is probably better than... Scout? It's a shame it doesn't complete any sets, but that's fine. All right, already taken some unnecessary damage. I love it. Let's heal up our Pyro. Very good. It's a good thing we got Healer with the Pyromancer, at least. Ooh, but I want to heal both the Pyro and the Flagellant. The Flagellant's probably my favorite unit right now. I think it has a lot of cool potential. It hit the freaking Pyromancer again! It had like a sliver of HP! The Flagellant is dying over here! And you prioritize that? What a greedy asshole. Alright, we don't lose or anything, at least. Sure, I'll level up Engineer. Hell yeah. I swear, if I die, if I do manage to die to level 12 again, that will just completely suck. I think I actually would even struggle against level 9. I feel a lot weaker right now. Okay, let's heal, I guess. Oh, that's an enemy. <laughs> I just bum-rushed an enemy. I don't know what I thought that was, but not an enemy. 
I'll tell you that much. The engineer is pretty fun. Maybe I could have that be in position three for more sentries. Nah, we keep Flagellant there. I don't know how many times Flagellant is proc, but surely it's enough times for it to be considered worth it. The only pro issue with the Flagellant is that it's a slow burn. If wave one is challenging, then I'm kind of screwed because I won't have time to build up my damage. But that's where I'm hoping like the other Psyker synergy can be good for me. Yeah, I might swap Engineer to position three. I think I will. And I don't know if I want to reroll still. I wish I could be confident in my ability to beat level nine, but I'm not. So I'll reroll a tiny bit. Wait, infuses projectiles. Hold on. Does this thing shoot its own projectiles or does it infuse other units projectiles? Because then Stormweaver is insane because 20% damage on Engineer is really, really good. So in that case, I could get rid of Mage because this is not a projectile. And we could try Stormweaver. People are saying it's other things, so that sounds incredible. Well, I have Engineer in the third slot, so we'll be seeing maximum Sentry. So if those deal 20% damage per shot, those could scale infinitely and become my new main thing. Uh, so far, that does not look like 20%. No, that does not look like 20% at all. That's a damn shame, because the Engineer is definitely projectiles, but it is very clearly not dealing 20%. Okay. Uh, what? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm not dead, at least. Yet. Just let me get to my healing. Please? How do I steal my flagellant? Well, I'm not gonna have it for long. It's gonna ruin itself really soon. I don't have my healer anymore. Yep, goodbye, flagellant. Alright, good news is... Uh, there are... There is no good news. This is scary. I have very low damage right now. This is actually extremely bad. At least I have the Vagrant and 20% damage synergy. Turrets do proc it? Well, it didn't look like they did. Yeah, it looked like it did almost nothing. It doesn't deal extra damage to the unit hit, only to the units close of it, to it? Wait, so 20% is based off the projectile's damage, not the unit's HP. I don't think I like this one, then. Uh, I could take damage over time for Pyromancers or anything else. Unless I want to reroll, I might want to reroll because there's no direct synergy here. Sorcerer repeat. Enchanter, though. Payback, I mean, is good. I might actually take payback. Then I could keep this enchanter around for the sake of payback. Eh, yeah, payback's just good. I hope I can get it to work. Yeah, I'll level this up. I might even take a priest then. I think I'll get rid of merchant now and I'll take priest in its place. I sold the wrong fucking. Mmm, I sold the wrong. Economy, dude. Well, that sucks. I definitely meant to sell the miner. That was... Pfft. All right, well, I need to find something to replace the miner then. Oh, what the hell? Healer has a new class synergy. There's a chance for enemies to drop healing orbs on death. Let me just reroll once. Get a... I don't know. Could go Conjurer just for the heck of it. If I get Conjurer, I get additional summon damage and duration. So here's how it's going to go. Goodbye, Miner. Hello, Carver. I have Conjurer Synergy now, which also improves my Vagrant. What a weird setup. I don't think it's going to make it past Wave 12. <laughs> but maybe if I level up some items we could get somewhere. Like, I really want to level up the Orb one. That seems like the most fun. Alright. Take some damage, Flagellant, please. Because, yeah, look at this. I actually got a lot of healing now. <laughs> I can heal in here, too. Why not? I need to stick around forever. Show me the healing orbs. Hell yeah. I didn't need some of those. Yeah, just... <laughs> what a weird setup. We got a lot of sentry turrets now, too. And we can heal in here as well. I somehow still had something die, despite all of my healing. That's all right. I can get off of that really quickly. Oop, get back here. Let's heal up a bit more. Oh, it was the Pyromancer. That thing dies too quickly. Maybe I should just get rid of the Pyromancer. God. <laughs> no, I actually might get rid of the Pyromancer in favor of a merchant. Just so I can start echoing again. Of course, then I deal almost no damage. So that's a little awkward. Maybe I just get rid of Cleric then. Yeah, get rid of Cleric. I keep the healer synergy. This thing isn't even good. Alright, and then for next level, I will have maximum money. 
Next level, I will ungreed a little bit. I'll level items. Maybe I'll level my shop and try to buy something. Haven't thought about it too hard yet. But I know it'll work out eventually. Nice. Oh god, bad place to be. Could have been way worse though. Mm, get me out of there. I again lost the Pyromancer. How does that keep happening? Uh, because it's a glass cannon, that's how. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take something else that deals damage but can last for a while. Pyromancer really is not it. This green healing aura, I find, is also not great. Unless if I get it to have a larger area. Alright, at least the merchant survives. Class cannon implies it does insane damage. True. And it doesn't. So, right, I want to level up payback for sure. I think I want to level this up all the way. My enchanters get hit a lot. And then I'll level up the shop a little. Reroll. I don't think I want to do orbitism. That's not the most exciting thing I have. I might even just take blade. Just for some damage. Like blade over pyromancer. Yeah, I, listen, I need some that sticks around. And this will scale really well too. With the enchanter stuff. I don't know, but I kind of want to go for Vagrant level 3. Just get more attack speed and damage, so I'm going to roll for that. I want one more Vagrant if I can help it. Squire is nuts, though. Squire might be the Stormweaver replacer I'm looking for. Or I could have them both. I'm spending a bunch of money, so Merchant gets a lot worse now. I, I genuinely think I want both Stormweaver and Squire, so I'm going to get rid of Merchant and hope I don't regret it. So I got Enchanters in the front, Enchanters in the back. Can I get the thing? I can level up Carver. Squire. Vagrant, finally. Okay, level three Vagrant. We can chill now. I think I'm glad I got rid of the merchant just because of the money I spent. I can't believe I'm doing all this just to beat wave 12 though. Uh, for a little bit of context, I just lost to wave 12 twice in a row. So I'm trying to not do it this time. I would like to make it farther than wave 12. And it seems that how it's going is great. Assuming I can convert. But yeah, this is an excellent, excellent start. Obscenely good start. Come on. Yeah, we killed it. Okay. <laughs> I think we did a little bit of overkill, but we do have some interesting ones. Echo Barrage. Chance to create secondary AoEs. So that's Blade. Blade basically becomes insane. It's better than Divine Punishment. Yeah, let's take Echo Barrage. I also think I'm going to move Vagrant to... Position three, ahead of Engineer. I think it's better. They all have Blade here as a backup. I guess I'll just level up items. Yeah, I'll, I'll level up items. Echo Barrage, and then I can get Orbitism later. Stormweaver, very nice. Maybe the Vagrant could be in the front so I could have it, or not the Vagrant, the, um, my last unit, whatever it's called, in the front so it can do ramming damage. Because it's that strategy again. But I'm not deliberately ramming this time. But I don't mind the, uh... I don't mind what happened in the front right now. It's the first thing to heal whenever we come into this weird circle thing. So we can guarantee that it never dies. This is just a weird buffing build. I become insanely strong over time. Like, all I need to do is survive early and I'm so busted. Flagellant is amazing, can't forget about that. Yeah, I want high tier stuff so I can just level up units because I don't think I want to take anything. I think I really like this build. All that matters is that I survive early game. Do not die early. Because we get into mega one-shot territory pretty quickly, I think. Let me get to the thing. And get out. Peel away. Wow, they were all spawning it right there. This is wonderful, though. This is wonderful. Alright, level up shop and start rerolling. Fairy is the fourth enchanter. I might not- I could take that over Carver. Because here's the thing, I really have just three damage dealers. Everything else is just made to buff the shit out of them. If I do this, the Vagrant becomes a little bit weaker, but it was already one-shotting. It's mostly the engineer I'm worried about. Maybe the engineer could be replaced at some point. Yeah, maybe the engineer could be replaced with better damage of some sorts. Because I want to go Fairy for the sake of Enchanter. We get better damage to all allies. And then I think I'll replace the Engineer with maybe a Warrior. So I can get a Warrior buff. Yeah, that's the play. So goodbye and hello. And then I look for maybe a really good Warrior. Hey, it's a really good Warrior. 
Uh, seems pretty good to me. And yeah, I have the Echo Barrage for that. And my Vagrant just one-shots everything. It's so good. So I don't even miss the damage lost by the Vagrant because we make it up with ease. Look at that Vagrant go. It's so strong. Because yeah, maybe I want to go with the chaining thing. Even the Vagrant's 20% damage chain will half kill an enemy. That's so good. Oh no! I actually lost a couple units. That's so sad. I mean, they were gonna die anyway. Ooh, warriors gain defense every five seconds. I have three warriors. That's really good. Although this <laughs> this one's pretty good too. Plus 50% movement speed that decays over four seconds on healing orb pickup. I think unwavering stance is better, but I want this in the future. So you say the speed is too fast? That's funny. Never would I have guessed. Okay, let's up this for sure. I think I'll just max this out. Yeah, so now if I'm worried about enemies, I can just turn around. And if they hit my warrior in the back, I'm not mad at all. I need healing. They're gatekeeping my healing. Let me get it. There we go. That works. Oh, so much healing. I'm rich. I'm going to die. Okay, thank you for all that healing. <laughs> I really needed that, actually. Dude, the blade is so good, too. This is a really good build. I like this because it's not your standard, just C, C um, class energy, pick class energy. This is more... This is just a very strange synergy. I don't know what to say about it, but I like it a lot. And if we can level up both of our attacking warriors, it will be lights out. I wish the only type of unit I wish that was in this game was a some sort of machine gunner unit. I am shocked that there's nothing that attacks really fast but doesn't have the greatest damage ever. Everything kind of attacks slow. The only worry about this uh, build is that it's weak early on. So I have to be able to stall in the early game. Once I get over that, it's lights out. Oh no. Anyways. Oh, Highlander level up. Let's go. Beautiful. I think I'll still keep it at shop level 4. Fairy level up. Let's go. Wave 18. Don't choke it. Alright. Already took a little bit of damage, but it's nothing too major. Just trying to stall it out until I can heal. As long as I don't lose anything, I'm good. Oh yeah, we're doing great. Yeah, we're doing great. <laughs> Oh no, I lost a unit, but we just casually killed the elites in five seconds. So, nice. This build is very strong. Even with early pressure, we do great. I think it helps that warriors themselves have so much HP. We can just keep tanking it. I, uh, plus healing effectiveness. This is actually insane. Yeah, this is the best one for sure. I have so much healing. I'm just gonna level this the max. I can still roll. Sure, Highlander. And let's go. I have no words for this synergy, because it's no, never something I could have planned before playing this, but it is working out just way better than imagined. I don't even need to heal, except for when my unit deals damage to itself. Okay, awkward. <laughs> I guess I can still get one shot, apparently. Uh, shouldn't be too big a deal, though. Okay, it's time to heal up greatly now. It's time to heal up greatly now. Honey, it's time for your daily dose of healing. Uh, very nice. We even lost our blade. It's one of our best units. Blade! Let's go. I even got the hardest one to get. The chicken nugget guy is always scary. That's the orange one, right? I feel like chicken nuggets could be yellow, too. Like, the golden is somewhat yellow. Kind of both chicken nuggets, if you think about it. This is disgusting. <laughs> Once we get built up, nothing comes even close. It's like, the, you, you're you approaching me? I don't give a shit. Once I get good in this, enough of this game, I should do a healing only run. Yeah, healer only run would be funny. This is the closest thing I'm going to get to it right now, though, because I have four healers. I lied. I have two healers. I have four enchanters. Because, yeah, the dream is to get really good at this game and just start dicking around. 
but I feel like there isn't that... Oh no. <laughs> My poor blade. Dude, the blade is a warrior too. That's kind of scary. That it can still get one shot. I don't like that at all. So I didn't realize that wave 20 would be upon me. Come on, please die. Dude, okay. My juggernaut got one shot as well. Do I need to ram it? I need to ram it, apparently. Oh, good God. This is wave 20, isn't it? All right, well, I need to bail myself out now. I have only my vagrants as damage, so I have to really make sure I don't lose that. Shit. I mean, I should have so much HP now, but things should not be dying. Now, I can run into enemies to try to build up some attack speed and that sort of stuff. My Vagrant's becoming a bit of a machine gun, at least. Yeah, actually, look at that Vagrant go. <laughs> Is it a literal machine gun? Okay. Never mind. Lasting long is good, as long as the Vagrant stays alive. Please, die! It wasn't shooting it! It was shooting other things! I was getting so worried. <gasps> okay, that's fine. That's the thing that just harms itself. I don't mind that one either. That being said, I had to keep the Vagrant alive. The Vagrant just got a lot slower now. Two waves left of this. Surely. I don't even need to heal. I don't have anything that damages itself anymore. Come on. Come on. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> that was the worst aim of all time. Okay, thankfully the orange ones are uh, just kamikaze lords. And they harm their own. Okay, reinforce is just good. Global damage, defense, and attack speed. Yeah, that's pretty good here. I'll just level that up. We're at the highest round I've gotten in New Game Plus One now. That was level 21. I'm gonna, because this is the new highest for me, I'm actually gonna spend all my money. Try to get a Flagellant and a Squire. Flagellant, let's go. Excellent, show me the Squire too. I mean, Highlander I'll take. Highlander I'll take again, and I can't roll. This is scary now. This is danger levels. Okay, off to a solid start. Off to a fantastic start. All right, we should be good here. Oh, I didn't need to pick that up, but I wanted to anyways, just the flex on him. I don't need your healing handouts. I am just monstrous by myself. I am so glad I kept around that chaining um, enchanter, by the way. 20% damage on projectiles is insane when my damage is absurd. This is the greatest vagrant, I think, of all time. It's, it's too easy. I have to stay kind of in it because I don't want to accidentally zone out and lose. You know, like that. <laughs> I don't want to have anything die. I'm going to level up to level 5 shop so I can try to get Highlander going. And if I come across Squire, that'll be cool. I'm not going to go for Priest. I'm not going to be able to get six of them. Highlander, let's go. One more until tier three. Level 23, this is the highest I've been in New Game Plus One. I hope that none of the waves start out scary. Oh, these freaking orange ones, man. I should start ramming them if it looks like that I'm gonna be sniped. Yeah, I just need to gun right towards them. I can heal up, but I cannot out heal it being one shot. <gasps> shit, 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 shit. There's so many healing orbs. I can't even collect them all if I wanted to. I don't want to throw because this would be my first new game plus win. But I feel like if I was a more experienced player, I would just start memeing right now. Just like not even move. Just stay in the center. Do whatever the hell I feel like. Try to intentionally ram enemies to see if it's even possible to feel something. But I, I, I do want this win badly. So I'm not going to throw. Yeah, stay focused. I mean, the major part of focus, again, is the very beginning. Because I'm not going to die here. It's actually impossible to die here, I think. But it's the very beginning of the next two waves. I'm worried about it. Again, I want Squire and I want Highlander. Show me either one of them. Not Priest. Highlander, let's go. Huge. Quickly repeats the attack three times. That's pretty good. I guess it's only Squire I'm looking for. So maybe I could just, like, level up Orbitism. Damn, I've been offered so many priests, that's funny. 
Well, you hate to see it, but hopefully it's not that big a deal. Alright, that hurts, like, a lot. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> That's one way to win. <laughs> it's so fast. It's so fast. Um, yeah, unrelenting stance just instantly wins. Oh, but ultimatum's pretty good, too. <laughs> oh my god. This just makes the vagrant... I think I'll take the defense. I, it's just the defense just to be safe. And then I'll level this up all the way. I think I'll level up Orbitism for the guarantee. And then I'll look for a Squire as my last thing. <laughs> Another priest just to... Just to make me feel bad. Alright, well, it's the final boss. It is an elite. I have to be careful because, again, I'm weakest in the very beginning. Alright, taking a bit of damage, but already off to a good start. I didn't immediately have anything die, so that's a really good sign. Yeah, that's an insanely good sign! <laughs> it's faster than the first time! Let's go! Nothing died except the front one, which I don't even care about. That build was insane. This was my greatest build I think I've ever done. Holy crap. Well, that's sick. So next up is yet another harder difficulty with a plus one max snake size. It's time for new game plus two.